Happy New Year! First video of 2023. What it do? Your girl took a little break in January. But I'm back and looking real crazy because today we are taking out these braids. Can I just tell y'all though, before we do, this has been the absolute best protective style experience that I have ever had. It took me some experimenting to get here, but I officially know what to ask for in order to have a comfortable protective style experience for me because I have a picky scalp and I am not one who is willing to sacrifice much comfort at all in order for a hairstyle, especially not for weeks on end. But these, we are at over four weeks. I have never made it over four weeks. I've never actually made it over three weeks with a protective style. And so I'm really excited. Knotless Tumating. Knotless is gonna be my go-to from now on. And also the fact that we were able to get it super lightweight by not using much hair is just, it was really honestly a game changer for me. Um, so it's been great. It's been a great run, but it's about time for these to go. As you can see, I already started taking it out. This is my real hair back here. Um, oh my gosh, the way that it kind of matches. This right now is kind of weird. That's so funny. But yeah, last night when I was in bed, I was like, you know what? I do not want to be spending my entire day taking all of these out. So I was like, let me just take out a few to lighten the load so that I'm not doing everything all in one day. So I'm about to go ahead and just take the rest of these out and we're gonna dive into this wash. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm using and how I'm gonna bring my curls back to life. I'm really excited. It's been a great run with these, but I'm really excited to see my curls come back be on and popping. We'll talk about some of my hair goals in 2023. Let's just get into it. So first things first, let's get the rest of these braids out, y'all. I hope this doesn't take me very much longer. We don't have very much more to go, I would say. I'm a little more than halfway done, I think. These are so much easier to take out than Passion Twist. I officially know for a fact that I am absolutely not doing any more protective styles that require a rubber band at the scalp. One, obviously my scalp hates it, can't deal with it, it is super uncomfortable for me. But second, the takedown is like literally a two person job. You cannot do that yourself, or at least I do not have the patience to sit there and figure out where to cut the rubber band all the way in the back of my head at the root where it's a very high risk of you just chopping your hair off? Absolutely not, no thank you. No thank you, I do not want those problems. And I, no, it's just a big no for me. <laughs> Another huge plus for Knotless for sure. The takedown is fairly quick and easy. I do see myself probably getting these again in the near future. Maybe over summer we'll do a cute little style. You know what I've always been thinking about? I've always thought, especially for summer, like when it's hotter, about doing a short, protective style, like short braids, short knotless braids. That could be something cute to experiment with this year. Let's cut these and see what it would look like. Oh, that feels scary, but that's none of my hair. <laughs> okay, you see? Like a cute little, mm -mm, a little sum sum. Oh my gosh, I, I actually think short goddess braids with lots of like human hair. I think I will try the human hair next time would be so cute, like a cute bob just like this, with like the curls and the, ugh. oh my gosh. Okay, summer 2023 is lit. Three owls later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It didn't take that long. My hair looks so long right now. <laughs> so stretched and very compressed. There are clumps of gel at my roots. You can see them, all that white stuff. Literally like it's like cake together. I can't even, like barely pull the hair apart. So what I wanna do is try to break those up a little bit before we jump straight into like detox shampoo and stuff. So I'm actually gonna grab a conditioner. I really wanna try this one. I tried the mask by Authentic Beauty Concepts and it's amazing. So this is their hydrate conditioner and I'm sure it's about to be amazing. I'm gonna wet my hair and then apply it and just kinda of try to maybe massage it in, brush it through to see if we can get this kind of broken up because this is going to be the best way for us to avoid a little bit of breakage. All right, so I'm going to section this out. My hair feels so like small right now. It's crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of the conditioner. I'm actually going to focus it on these roots to help soften out this gel. Oh, there goes my towel. Look at this. This is a whole ass clump right here 
not cute. It's like knotted in there. Let me add some more conditioner. Oh yeah, that definitely helps a lot. Yes, okay, so we got that clump out. This might take some time. And look at all the shedding just from that little section. That's very normal. We are not worried about that at all because I had these braids in for four weeks. So we can definitely expect to see four weeks worth of shedding all in one go. It's definitely a little tedious, a little time consuming, but guess what? Super important because if I just went in straight with shampoo, we would be an absolute knotted, matted mess from the root. And those are problems I do not ever want to deal with. This is definitely working. It's getting the job done. Roots are smoothing out. So we just proceed. One eternity later. Ooh, okay. We are finally fully cleared out. The gel clumps have been broken up. And the curls are starting to revert. So we're starting off on a really good foot here. That did definitely take me some extra time, but it's gonna be all worth it. What I really wanna show y'all is the amount of shedding. Four weeks of shedding and it's all compacted in a ball or multiple balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a lot of hair. This is a lot of hair that came out. But again, I really wanted to show this because this is normal. Shedding is very normal and when it's not allowed to shed for four straight weeks, it's going to shed all out at once. And it's not a problem. With a good little wash today, we will be, we'll be all set. My scalp right here feels like low-key a little tender. So I'm just like brushing this conditioner into it, which feels really, really good. I think just from my hair being in the same parts for so long, my scalp is just like getting a little bit of relief now, even though, you know, I didn't really have too many issues with anything. It's just getting, ooh. Some really nice relief. So um, I've spent a lot of time on my hair already so far. I would say, what time is it? I started in the morning. Oh my God, it's 1.30. <laughs> it is 1.30 right now. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a quick lunch break and then I will meet y'all right back in the shower for us to finish off this wash. I feel like the hardest part is over though. Thank the Lord. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this wash. When I take my hair out of a protective style, I really like to make sure that we are getting a really nice and overall just balanced wash. So I'm just starting out here by rinsing out all of the conditioner that we used for the pre-wash treatment before then jumping in with one of my top favorite shampoos, the Way Detox Shampoo. At this point, y'all already know how I feel about this, okay? It's got the apple cider vinegar in there, which is really balancing, but it still offers like a really nice, super deep cleanse. So great for both the hair and the scalp. I also actually decided to go in with a detangling brush with the shampoo as well. I just feel like that always gives me a double extra super deep cleanse and that is really what I was going for here. So of course we rinse that all out and then it's time to get into a treatment. Another all-time favorite, the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Now this is where you're getting a perfect balance between moisture and protein, which is key. You can see as I'm applying it, the curls are reviving, they're coming back to life. I went ahead and clipped it up, left it in for a little bit while I did all my body care, and then went ahead and rinsed it all out completely so that we can get ready for styling. And yes, for styling, there's absolutely no surprises here either. Using my favorite, the Dew Mousse Def Foam Styler. This is the one and only styler I'm using today just on its own. It's so, just so good gives curl definition, volume, and also allows the curls to dry super quick. I mean, you can see as I'm applying it, the curls are just coming into formation. It's giving. So then of course, once it's fully applied, it's then time to hop out. And of course, we diffuse. Are we seeing the juice? And the curls are back. I'm so happy because they're looking popping. Super happy and healthy. I think they're happy to be back, happy to be out. My hair is dry it's like i would say about 90 percent dry it still has a little bit more like drying and like setting to do but this is how we're looking so far and it looks good and feels amazing y'all do you see this length when it was when i was in the shower i was like oh my gosh i have hair down my back who am i <laughs> so i am excited i think i have officially decided that my main hair goal this year is going to be to grow my hair. So at all costs, everything that I do with my hair this year is really going to be geared toward growing it out. I really don't have like a specific length goal, but I just think with this shape, as it continues to grow, it'll grow and drop and look super cute. And I'm just curious to see kind of how it goes. So if your goal is growth, 
let me know in the comments below and we will be on this little thing together with that being said i am mainly going to be very intentional about one, making sure that I'm keeping up my trims on a regular basis, so not cuts, just like little curl dustings, maybe every four to five months or so, four to six months. Um, and then I'm also gonna be much more intentional about making sure I'm caring for my scalp. Today, I am actually not done with my hair. I do want to apply my scalp serum by way, but I wanna wait until my hair is fully dry and fully set. I feel like sometimes you can have issues with frizz if you apply it too soon to after a wash and go. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and actually I will check back in with you guys either later tonight or my bangs are looking so wild right now. <laughs> Anyways, I will check back in with y'all either later tonight or tomorrow for the scalp serum deeps and for our final results. Results. It is the next day and this is how we're looking. I did nothing except for put it in that bandana. We are popping. So I'm just gonna fluff her out. Let's see how much volume we can get. And then I'm also gonna do my scalp serum now. Major key for hair growth for sure. Especially after a protective style when my scalp has been kind of under, not like too much pressure, but under some pressure. So we're just gonna kind of nourish her and thank her for her service. I missed my hair. I definitely missed my hair for sure. This is me, this is signature list, you know? Hi, <laughs> I'm back. I do see my bangs are looking a little, a little uneven. So I'm just gonna snip this one really quickly. I'm always very conservative with how much I cut off of bangs because it's the worst thing to have them be too short. And there we have it. The curls are back. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, the shape is just, it just be, it just keeps on giving. They are popping and healthy, which is great. That means that all of the preparation work that we did for my hair and scalp to protect it, keep it nice and happy and healthy, worked like a charm and we love to see it. I'm excited to kind of take you guys along as usual, my continue, my never ending hair journey. And this year, like I said, we're focused on growth. So I'm excited to see all the things we kind of get up to. I'm also feeling like, because I do have more hair, I'm also getting that urge to experiment a little bit more. So I'm excited to get into some experiments, some tutorials, all the good things, all the fun stuff as usual. Okay. If you're new and you made it all the way to the end of this video, I love you. And you might as well go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. The curls are back. And I will see you next week for the next video. Bye.